In this video, I will show you the new Final Cut Pro audio tool, the soundtrack tool. So what am I talking about is there is a library inside here of Final Cut Pro here on the soundtracks. And there's a couple of different songs. And the cool thing is, doesn't matter what kind of song you hear to use, you can now say connect. And I will put this here into my timeline. And it doesn't matter how long the song is, I can make it longer and it will always pre-render the song and make it that length that I want to have it. So I can now use this song here, can make it as long as my timeline and now it will make an ending automatically. Let's be straight honest. I think those sounds, if you just want to use something very simple in the background, they're okay, but they are not the greatest sounds. I was testing a couple of them. And it's also not many of those. So you will very fast run out of sound ideas. And this is where, for example, I use all of my sounds from Epidemic Sounds. And if you have a YouTube channel like me, for example, this is an amazing place you, because you pay your like, I think I pay 12 euros or 15 euros a month. And then for that, I can use as many songs and as many videos as I like. And yeah, the songs are just so much better. But I mean, hey, I like where it's going. This is also why I made this video today to show you one of the things that is cool about Final Cut Pro, the idea to have music that is automatically adjusting to your timeline. I think this is forward thinking, but the execution isn't the greatest. I mean, play around with this. You can do some couple of cool things with that, but yeah, I just wanted to show you that. It's super easy, super simple. I hope you like this video. If you wanna see more Final Cut Pro videos or DaVinci Resolve for the iPad videos, then subscribe, ding-a-ding in the bang-bang-gong, and we see us in the next video. I'm Daniel, bye.